Hi, I'm Scott Campbell. Welcome to my window painting tutorials. Lesson number 113, highlights, shadows, thick and thin outlining. Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, recently I had a subscriber ask about doing a video about thick and thin lines and highlights and shadows and how I approach that. Okay, the center color is the base color for our bicyclists. This color is the shadow and it's the same version of this, just a little bit darker. You can take this color and add a, bit, a little bit of yellow or brown to it and maybe a little bit of red too and get this. You just got to experiment. But you don't want this too much darker than this, but dark enough to create an illusion of a shadow. And then the highlight is this color here and just add white to it. Okay, got all the colors laid down and I'm going to start with this flesh tone and uh, so I have this color here which is a little bit darker version. Sorry about all the crows squawking. <laughs> anyway, I can see the lines underneath. You probably can't see them in the video but underneath I see the lines and sometimes I'll just follow the line like this and I usually grab the corner Hi, this corner here, I'm going to use that corner as my line. So I'm going to go like this and pull it up. Like so. And then take the corner on this very edge here and just go like that. Then on the nose, I'm going to bring it down, a thin line on top. And then I'm going to grab this corner and kind of push it in and do like a little S shape. Like so. Like that. And here again I use the corner. And you can do these with a that Robert Simmons brush or a U truck brush too. You can do thick and thin. But I'm just so used to using the foam manipulating it. And here I'm gonna make a C shape. And then sometimes I'll come and make a little shadow like this. I'll come down like underneath the nose. Okay, and then over here I just pull the line, pull it, and then I'm going to make a little cleft chin, so I'm going to come down here and go like this, boom, and then up. So he's got kind of a square jaw, it looks masculine. And then down here is Adam's apple. And then underneath the neck. So basically, you put the darker areas, or thicker areas, underneath that's where you put your shadows underneath because the light typically comes from the top so and then sometimes i just outline it too i end up outlining it i might even come all the way down here and do a thin outline too and then over here i'm going to make a kind of another c shape a shadow and then another c shape and then bring it down here and then now I'm going underneath the bottom of the ear. Come up like that. Here I'm taking it on the end, right on the end and pulling it like that. And then beefing up this part. And again, don't think you have to do this with a big thick foam brush. You can use smaller brushes, whatever works for you. Okay, then up here, go underneath. Then I'm going to pull the line kind of thicker and go thinner and then thin over here and then a little line here. So those are all the shadows. Usually, oh, and underneath the mouth. You can draw off the mouth a little and like so too. So there's the face, there's your masculine Caucasian man bicycles. And down here, I'm going to take it flat all the way, and then flat, to create a shadow right there, and then the shadow here, make it flat, bring it up, kind of swish it, under here on the hand, underneath, thin, 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 and then a little, make a little shadow here. So everything, the shadows are always underneath. And see, I don't know if you can see it, but there's lines here. So I'm going to make the top of the hand 
top of the fingers, I mean, and then bring it down here where I thicken it out. And then the palm of the hand, like so. And then under the bottom of this finger. And I'm, I'm trying to go slower, I'm slowing down so I can kind of show you what I'm doing. Because you've seen me, I usually just go really quick. Okay, so these are all our shadow colors. And this color gets a little bit darker too. Colors get about 15, 20% darker. See, I put a shadow under there because that's the top of the ear. Okay, so he looks pretty good. So let's do the highlight now. Highlight is a, the same color, but I've just added white. You can add yellow. There's no exact formula, but you want it to be lighter. So on the nose, I take it on end and kind of go like this. And then do around there to indicate the top of the nose. But everything's on top now. So the top of the ear, the top of that piece that comes out of the ear, you know, on the side of the ear. And then this side, see these are all the top areas. And you can go like here, and then the Adam's apple. And then uh, you can go up here. It's a little bit thicker on top and then thinner. And then the same thing with the hand. You could do like a U shape, and then you come down here. And then here you take the, the little end and then kind of pop it and then it's like a thick and thin. But then that makes that top part more. And there's a really big thick and thin area where there's a lot of light. That is so cool. You like that, it's huh? It's free hand draw it, huh? Yeah. I, I teach it on YouTube. That's why Do I'm you? video taping. Sorry, we're we'll coming for your video. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I just finished. It's really cool. If you had said something, I would have just added to the video. Oh. <laughs> that is really cool. Is Thank you. Well, I had a few spectators as I was finishing up that little segment. And uh, at the same time, I was getting a call from Toby Tyler, the window painter from North Carolina, friend of mine. So if you're watching this, Toby, I'll call you back. <laughs>Sorry, what? Are we having fun yet? I always have fun. Good. Making money and doing whatever I want. Making money and making a mess. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Right? I feel like it's recess. I feel like, I mean, it's like a dream come true. 
and I don't have to paint anything anybody wants anymore. I get to paint whatever I want. I mean, I'll put their words up there and stuff, but right. I pick the colors and I design the characters. So yeah, so I am having fun. Good deal. Good deal. <laughs> hey, thanks. Have a good one, mate. You too. And this is my Robert Simmons brush. I talked about that in an earlier video. And uh, anything with a long single stroke bristles is good. And uh, I use synthetic because I, uh, I am into eating a plant-based diet and I guess you would consider me vegan despite the fact that I do eat fast food places. So in that respect, I'm not vegan, but I don't I try to stay away from wool and leather and, you know, animal products as much as I can. So I use synthetic brushes. Anyway, you just, you get your, your cell vinyl paint and you get it, uh, get it nice and clean. You get a nice clean edge, pull on the edge. And the first thing you do is you take it, you push it down like that and you just do it really thin on top and you push and then thin so you have this thin kind of line on top and then you pull you push it down and then you loop it so I'm going to repeat that and I'm going to use, I'm going to make a C shape so I'm going to start really thin light pressure and uh, you can do it on the outside of the shadow or the inside of the shadow. Inside's probably good. And then you push it down and then you pull it up really thin. That's how you do it. On this here, you might want to add a little bit more. So you might want to do a little more black to make a shadow like that. On here, I don't worry about thick and thin a real lot. I just, it's mostly just thin. Sometimes it's thicker at the top and thinner at the bottom. But this line here, it's going to start thin, thick, and then thin. So real light pressure, you pull it, push down, and then you kind of pull it up and twist it up. Same with this line. Thin, push down, pull up. And it feels a little awkward for me to go slow like this because I'm usually like, woo, -hoo, woo -hoo, which feels more natural and fluid. But so if I mess up a little because I'm going slow, which I should go, you know, mostly people go slow to do better, but for me it's the opposite. So here I'm just going to put a little line. This one I'm not worried about thick and thin because it's going to be painted in black. So I just go in here. And then you can take your other brush. This is a huge freck. 
think it's a quarter inch. You just fill this in like so. And then you can also use the quarter inch huge truck brush on end, push it down, pull it up. And you get a nice big thick thick and thin stroke. Then over here, thin, push down, thin. Same with this. Thin, push way down, it's a super thick line, which is fine. Over on the ear, you want a thin line on top. And then you start, I start around here really thin, thick, 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 thin, thin. And then thin on top, thick, thick, and then thin. And let's pull it from here, thick, thin. And this is thick too, but then it goes thin. Thick, thin, thin. Like that. You can add a little more black underneath to, to show the shadow. And this is, I do this really light. It's just like that. Same with the nose. Really thin. And then up here, it's thick underneath the whole way. Now I'm going to do the inside of the, the glasses. I'm just going to paint it in black. So I'll take the quarter inch again and just fill this in. Okay, let's head over to the hand. So on the hand, it's all the same thing. When you pull a line, you want to start thin. Push down. Pull up. If you want to go back and beef up the line, that's fine too. So thin, thin, thick, thin. Thin, pull it thick. Thin, pull it thick. Thin, pull it thick. And then back to thin, and then some more thin. Thin, thick, and then you'll decide how thick you want to go and how, you know, it's just practice. Thin, 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 thin. And then start thin, get thick, and almost stay thick. And then this top part, I'm actually gonna just make it all thick. Sometimes you do that too.
Well, I hope that answers your questions about thick and thin and uh, highlights and shadows. It's pretty simple. It just takes a lot of practice and stuff. Hey, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. And here's a few pictures of uh, the whole window that I did today. All right, see you next time. Bye.